Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The US government actually doesn't realize how important mature process chips are in the world. Now 95% of the world's chips are produced by this mature process, and they are the key to building 5G base stations, industrial control systems, and other infrastructure. Moreover, except for companies like TSMC that specialize in advanced chips, many other chip companies have to rely on mature chips to maintain stable income. China is now making large-scale investments in the domestic chip industry chain, taking a two-pronged route developing advanced chips and focusing on mature chips. Once Chinese companies can sell mature chips in large quantities to the international market, it will be a big blow to the chip industry in Western countries and may directly shake their financial foundations. According to the World Semiconductor Trade Statistics Organization, the size of the global semiconductor market is expected to exceed 700 billion US dollars in 2025 an increase of more than 10% over last year. Such a large market naturally drives the entire industry forward. In particular, the demand for AI chips has grown particularly fast in recent years, almost exponentially. Compared with five years ago, the market size has more than doubled. In the future, computing chips used to train large models and special chips for inference will definitely become the key driving force for industry growth. The explosive growth of new energy vehicles has directly driven the rapid development of the automotive chip market. The market size has exceeded 120 billion US dollars and is still rising. In the future, after the implementation of L3-level autonomous driving technology, the computing power requirements for chips will be higher, so about 43% of advanced chip production capacity will be used in intelligent driving. In addition, the popularity of 800V high-voltage platforms has also promoted a significant increase in the shipment of SICK silicon carbide power devices reaching 176%. However, although intelligent driving has developed rapidly, traditional mature chips still dominate most control systems in the entire automotive industry. For example, the chips used in key links such as body control module, MCU, engine management, ECU, and battery management system, BMS, must meet the automotive grade standards of dash 40 to 125. The use of 28 nanometers process to manufacture these chips not only has a high yield, but also ensures product stability and durability, which is very suitable for application scenarios such as automobiles that have extremely high reliability requirements. Most advanced chips now use a 3D transistor structure, or FinFET. This design allows transistors to be stacked more densely without increasing the chip area, thereby improving performance and allowing Moore's law to continue to work. However, this structure has very high requirements for the factory's manufacturing process. If the insulating layer or gate does not accurately control the current during the production process, quantum tunneling is likely to occur, causing transistor leakage. In this way, the power consumption of the chip will rise sharply, affecting the overall stability and service life. So far, only TSMC in the world can make advanced automotive-grade chips with good performance and strong stability. This is one of the reasons why the United States has been trying to move TSMC's technology to the United States. In the fields of PLC controllers, 
industrial sensors, and PMIC chips. Chips with a process of 28 nanometers or above are generally used. This process is relatively mature and can work stably in dusty and temperature-changing environments. Four chips such as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth that are used to connect smart home devices, the performance requirements are actually not high, and it can even be said that there are basically no particularly high requirements. The main thing is to see whether it has low power consumption and stable connection. According to data from the Semiconductor Industry Association of the United States, Chinese companies have obvious production capacity advantages in 200 mm large silicon wafers and 28 nm mature process chips, accounting for 24% and 33% of the global market respectively. And this advantage is expected to continue to expand in the coming years. Price advantage of silicon carbide wafers China has a clear price advantage in the field of silicon carbide wafers. The price of each piece has now been reduced to about 500 US dollars, while the international average price is as high as 1,500 US dollars. As a result, wolf speed in the United States could not hold up in price competition and finally had to lay off employees and close a large factory. In addition, China's self-sufficiency rate in automotive-grade MCU chips has also gradually increased, from 15% in 2023 to 32% in 2025. The future direction of industrial development will focus more on key links such as manufacturing equipment and materials, and invest a lot of resources to break through the stuck neck problem in front-end manufacturing, thereby solving the technical difficulties in the development of chips below 7 nanometers. Advantages of Mature Chip Industry Peter Winnink, former CEO of ASML, once said something to the media, which roughly means this. He said that mature process semiconductor technology is actually very important now, and there is still a lot of room for development in this field. At present, Chinese companies have done a good job in making these mature chips, which is actually one of the areas where they are stronger than foreign companies in the chip industry. Relying on their advantages in production capacity and cost, Chinese companies can sell these mature chips to all walks of life. In this way, many companies will gradually rely on Chinese chips. Once this dependence is formed, China's chip technology will be able to enter the international supply chain more easily, allowing many industries around the world to give priority to buying China's mature chips. In this way, China's technology is likely to become a very important link in the entire industrial chain and gain recognition and support from the world.